if we could have picked up the um, epidemic really early when it occurred in Wuhan, uh, and if we had ways of, um, you know, transparent reporting, picked it up really early and just stamped it out, we wouldn't be where we are today. And the key is surveillance, disease surveillance. And I believe in the use of um, open source data for rapid epidemic intelligence, which is something we work on at the Kirby Institute. Um, and I think, uh, you know, public health authorities are often quite old fashioned in that they only believe in the use of laboratory confirmed reports from the lab or reports from doctors or hospitals. And that's all fine, that's all necessary. But by the time you get those reports, it's quite late in the day. You need to look at signals that are coming from open source data. And people talk about epidemics long before any health authorities know about them. And then by the time it comes to the attention of health systems and health authorities, it's probably already pretty big. Um, and yet we focus on drugs and vaccines as the only, only solution when actually we've had to use things like physical distancing and lockdowns and travel bans and um, personal protective equipment to try and control this. It may be even more momentous than the 1918 pandemic um, because of how interconnected the world is and how dependent we are on trade and um, supply chains um, and, and sort of exposed, we are exposed when, when these things get broken because we can't make those things in Australia. You know, it'll take time to develop that kind of capacity. Um, essential medicines are the other thing. We've seen shortages of things like insulin and thyroid medications and even Panadol, you know, because we rely on supplies from overseas. Um, so I think it is a new era and I think the world will look different in the future in terms of how we organise our own domestic resilience and um, capacity. It may not have to be like that for Australia because we've got the case numbers down so low, it is possible we can keep things under control um, even though we may continue to see cases or even outbreaks. Um, we should be in a much better position to keep things under control for even a number of years. It does depend on some ex to some extent on what happens with the international borders. Um, because it's, it is a pandemic, it's all over the world. So if we open up the international borders, that could change. If we can keep the borders closed, even in a targeted way against countries with high incidence, um, we should be able to manage things. I'm very confident we will see a vaccine. Uh, we'll see lots of different vaccines, probably. Um, the first one that comes out may not necessarily be the best. It may be, but it may not. Um, so we'll see probably a rolling timeline of different vaccine candidates from the hundred different groups that are working on vaccines at the moment coming out. Um, I, I think probably in about 12 months is what, when we'll start seeing things, but we already have vaccines in clinical trials, um, in the phase one clinical trials in the US and the UK. So things are rolling. Never in history have we had such a massive worldwide concerted effort at vaccine development against one pathogen.